Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you uh, my gun safe um, setup. Also, I want to do a, you know, a short review on the stack on um, tactical 20 rifle uh, tactical uh, safe. So the reason why is because I was looking for a, a review for this uh, gun safe and I couldn't find anything. Just just one short review on uh, on YouTube and that's it. So, you know, but I'm not a professional, but I want to show you guys how everything looks inside and uh, everything, what you know, how everything is going to look with all your guns and uh, all that stuff. So first we have um, the keyboard uh, panel right here. All you have to do is press anywhere to um, turn it on and then you put your code in there. Of course, I'm not going to show you guys my code. and then press pound. All right, turn, and there you go. So also guys, um, just in case the battery dies, this uh, safe comes with two keys. All you have to do is, there's a, 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 like a button right here on the bottom. All you have to do is press, remove this, put the key on, twist, and that's it. You got access to your, um, to your gun safe. All right, also, um, these handles right here are removable. If you um going to travel or something that you're gonna take um and you want to take them with you, yeah, you can do that too. So let's check out the door first. So this safe is rated for 30 minutes uh fire. So we have here there's a there's a bar in the top that locks the top of the of the door. Also we have three that are permanent on the side that will hook up on the side of the gun um on, on on the side of the door um on the inside all right also we have another five on the outside and then we have sorry about that then we have another one in the bottom all right so i like that you know, most of the guns have uh, just a couple here, and that's it. All right. So you try to, um, you know, get rid of these uh, hinges right here. Still have uh, the bars that will lock uh, that portion, so you cannot open it from the from that side. All right. So starting with the door, we have here some holsters that came with uh, this uh, holsters that came with the with the safe. Uh, actually, there's a couple more, probably like eight. I just don't have them here right now. So there's a Velcro right here. That's pretty much attached to the Velcro. That's where you're supposed to put your guns. Now, I tried that, and uh, some of my guns are heavy, and it's not going to hold enough. All right? So I came up with uh, a check on eBay, and I got these uh, little hangers right here that I will be showing you guys uh, further, that, further down the video. So... I use these holsters, um, the little holsters for the guns, to put my holsters, some of them, right? Because I got a bunch of uh, holsters. But some of them, the most that I use, like this leather one right here, I use a lot, so I put it right there. Um, also, I have some uh, headlamps right here, just in case the lights, uh, the energy go off. Um, right here, I have, well, this one actually didn't came with the box, with the gun box. But I got this one from Evil also, also for like, pretty sure, like probably like ten dollars. So that one, that one is uh, fifty-five centimeters, and it fits uh, perfect, perfect. Uh, so I put some, but I I did put some velcro in the back, and it was thick on here. But I was like, you know what? This is kind of like, I think this is wood. So you have the option to put it with um screws so one screw there and then one screw on the other side so that's what i did i removed it from the velcro put it down so i can put my light my light my battery light you know say just in case an emergency I have some light in there to access to the to the box and uh work with something here and you know i have some patches in there too uh now this uh knife holder is pretty good 
So you can tell, you know, I have some couple, uh, couple of magazines, a couple of them are full. And there you go. You can actually heat it and it's not gonna slide down or, or come off uh, the magnet, all right? Uh, there you go. And then uh, comes with these uh, bags too that are attached with Velcro, you know, um, the feature. Um, this one I have uh, some magazine uh, pouch here. Um, these ones are not stick to the knife holder because they're Glocks. You know, they are made of polymer and uh, have also uh, types of other types of magazines that are made of uh, polymer. Um, so down here you have four more where you can uh, put a pistol, you know, like a pistol that have uh, a lot of attachment, like a flashlight and other stuff that will not fit in a regular uh, holster. Uh, so I have my Ruger 5.7 here because the hole in the barrel is not thick enough to um, put the hanger through the barrel. Right. But you know, you can put four in there if you want to, or you can put any magazines, big magazines that have uh, the chocolate magazines in there too. All right, moving now. Uh, so the ones that I you see in uh, in, in rough wood, that's uh, some additions that I did. Add more shelves to the uh, to the safe <clears throat> to have more uh, compartments. All right, so the shell the the safe comes with six of these shelves. You can put it all in one side, or you can do whatever you want. All right, you can do your own setup. But now, this is my setup for for what I have. <clears throat> All right, so according to uh, stack on date, this gun is for 20 um, tactical rifles, All right? So it comes with this, uh, this mount right here, All right? Two on each side that you can put more further down, but I'm not using them, so I took them off. So there's two on one side and then two on the other side. You can uh, adjust the, the height on the on those, and then put your tactical guns on the, you know, on the on the line right there, all right. But I don't have that many, so I I use it with these stations right here that come with it, and uh, it comes with a. You can put the screw and then attach it to that rack, and then put on uh, like I did two, two shotguns. There you go. So um, what else? Moving down. So we have these hangers right here that I got for, uh, from eBay, pretty cheap, you know, to save some space. Actually hold the weight of the gun better than uh, the holsters and the, and the doors. All right, so it's pretty simple, you know. All you have to do is uh, get the handle that is coated, metal hangers coated with uh, plastic or rubber, I don't know. Slide it in there and then the barrel through the hanger and there you go that's it you actually you know use more space without those hangers i couldn't utilize this space right here all right so i put another shelf in the in the top and i ordered some more hangers where i'm gonna get rid of this um get rid of this uh stand right here and then put the guns in the top and then put more guns like in the bottom right here all right also i have another um box where i put all my uh all my knives all my uh pocket knives you guys can see let me show you guys real quick there you go put all my uh pocket knives in there and put the box in there so i don't have all of them in the shelf uh taking more space all right so there you go. Once I get those hangers, I'm gonna remove that stand and I'm gonna utilize this space right here. Moving down, I have put, I have put another shelf right here. I'm gonna use that one to put personal documents, uh, important documents like uh, birth certificates and all that stuff. Uh, I have more magazines here, magazines there. Down there I have my uh, Scorpion and my pistol. Uh, my AR-15 pistol. I have four uh, rifles right here. I have a motion detection uh, light right here that will uh, turn on too, you know, when I put my hand in any any of those rifles. Um, 
So I had these lights from a stack onto. They're pretty good. They're like, they're like forty-five dollars. You know, a little little fancy, but they're really good. All right, so only it's not like the whole strip. It comes four with four uh, four strips, but actually these strips have more power than the strip that you can get from eBay. All right, like the regular LED strip lights. Um, so they're the work. They're electrical. You know, you connect it on the house and. Uh, their motion detection too. So you can see down there, that little box right there. There you go. Put my, my leg in the top, there you go. So the light went off. Now, if I take it off, the light comes up. So it actually like light up everything in the box pretty good, all right? But I do have another backup light, which is an uh, operator battery. You can see the battery box right here and then the motion detector right here all right put my foot in the top of the motion detector no it's not working out but it's working sometimes it works um but most of the time i have it off so I, let me turn the switch off it's just for demonstrations you know and that's the stack on light only all right once i close the door we'll turn off all right um what else i can say about this uh about this safe uh well, you see the adjustments right there. You can adjust the height of all the shelves. I have the ammunition on one side. You know, it has some batteries, one to three batteries. And then I have my ax in there too, with a magnet. There you go, boom. Um, and the shotguns. Also, uh, hey, very important guys, you know. So, just keep in the inventory of your stuff, all right? Every time you buy a gun or, yeah, a pistol, rifle, shotgun, whatever, make sure you guys have one of these records, all right? Every time I buy a gun, the first thing I do when I get to the house is take a picture of the um, of the receipt and then uh, a picture of the gun with a serial number on both sides. Well, actually, here I'm gonna have one side one side only, but there's another picture inside of the other side of the gun, of the gun too. In the back, I have uh, all my information with all the um, attachments. You know, if I have any attachment on the guns, like um, red or side or or lights, everything is gonna be in the back, and then in between is gonna be a copy of the receipt. Now, now all this um, information. It's good, you know, I have it in the binder, you know, just in case any questions, somebody, you know, knock my door asking for trying to get me in trouble. You know who I'm talking about, you know, everything is by the book, all right? Everything is, I mean, I have the receipt, everything is good to go. Now, um, I do have everything in digits too, you know what I mean? Because this is not a fortress, you know, anybody, you know. <laughs> You don't have to be a, a a good thief to open this safe. This is just to keep your stuff, you know, out of the out of the reach of the children, or you know, not to have, you know, be a little bit organized. Because these are not toys, you know. This should be locked at all times. Um, you don't know who can come to your house. You know, you can get involved talking with that person, and then the kids start running around, and the next thing you can hear is the boom, and then you can go back and fix it. Once it's done, it's done. So, um, hey, make sure you guys, you know, do, you know, a little investment. You don't have to get, this one is not expensive, you know. I see way expensive than this one right here, you know. But, you know, but it's a good safe. It's a good safe. Any, anything that keep uh, everything locked, you know what I mean? And, and the kids don't have uh, access to those uh, firearms, it's good to have in the house. It's a must-have. All right, it don't matter if you have one or you have two or you have 100. Make sure those things are locked and, uh, you know, out of the reach of the children. So that's the most important thing. It doesn't have to be like mine organized or whatever. As, as long as you have it under lock, you know, cabinet or something, you're good to go. All right, so guys, uh, if you guys have any questions, I'm not a professional because I'm not the manufacturer of this box, you know what I mean? But you know, I will, 
uh, answer your questions on the best of my knowledge. And I will get back as soon as possible with you as soon as possible. So if you have any questions, hey, comment down below, ask whatever you want. You know what I mean? Where I got those hangers or or what kind of wood I'm using for over there. Whatever, whatever you, you have, you know, comment down below, answer the question. I will do my best to uh, get, get back with you guys. The most important, guys, is, uh, you know, safety. Be uh, a good citizen, you know, not having these things uh, around the house, laying around the house, you know, and uh, actually you have more organization. Now, um, I know this is not gonna stop a thief, you know, from getting uh, uh, your stuff, but, you know, there, it's gonna slow them down. You should have this. If you have what I have right now, or maybe more, you know, I know you guys, some of you guys are like going freaks and have a little bunch of guns, but you know, I'm 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 kind of like you know starting a little bit in my collection. So make sure you have some cameras, other you know alarms in the house, because this is not gonna stop a thief from getting your stuff. This is gonna actually slow them down. So with your system plus this, by the time they try to open it, probably uh, you are in the house already with a shotgun or you know police whoever arrived first. All right, so um, yeah, all right, guys, uh, just stay safe out there, um, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, right? Because um, I've been out for a little bit, not making videos, you know, has some uh, family situation, you know, just like everybody. That's how life is. But I'm back. But I'm back already. I'm gonna still. I'm gonna make more videos. So um, to get the notifications, make sure you subscribe. All right. Alright guys, stay safe out there and thanks for watching.